Hi, here I'm going to explain about major assignment one. Uh, major assignment one has four pages, which are grading sheet, monthly budget, income analysis, and ownership. The first page, uh, the grading sheets, they really explain the requirements. So make sure you read all those requirements before you do the other pages. All right? For example, uh, let me see one of the requirements that has highest point, uh, which is um, under here C8. You are required that uh, the formats should be entered in a dollar sign, the amount, and make sure also you have two decimal places of precision for the budgets category which is a second page and it carries 25 points so make sure you read all those requirements all right that's how you can be graded all right when you go to the second page which is monthly budgets click on the monthly budget you need to click each tab all right so now the second page is monthly i click on monthly budget tab now here we have a page that we can enter monthly budgets and it has five category and the categories are as you see here all right we have a monthly budgets of categories utilities food and entertainment insurance health and medical saving and charity giving and the last one is miscellaneous so we have five categories of monthly budget. Now, just as an example, I enter my own item. You already given the uh, mortgage payment for housing and utility category. And just to give you an example, I enter item two next to the mortgage. Item three this is a list of the items. And for the mortgage, because it's paid once in a month, so I enter one under the uh, column of number of times purchased each month. And the payment for the mortgage is 1,600, all right? I'm gonna show you how to compute this value. And item two, I just enter item two, you may, maybe you're gonna enter electricity or water, whatever you want to enter as an item then under the next column number of times purchased each month you may enter one then the cost per purchase is uh, 300 dollars could be um, any item and item three number of times per each month one time the amount 150 I keep, you know, enter those items for food and entertainment. I enter item four, item five, and item six, and I enter the number of times of purchase per month. All right. And the amount is shown here under C column. I keep entering values like that. Just you can see under insurance and health, item seven, eight, and nine. And number of times purchased per month, I give one, two, two accordingly, and the amount is 230 and 45. I'm going to change those uh, format in dollar, okay? All right, so I keep entering like that. I just put item nine, but make sure you enter a name, don't put item nine, 10, 11. Make sure you give a name like. Um, as I said, for food and entertainment, you may enter egg or milk, anything, you know, go to go grocery. And this item should be entered with the, the right name and the right number of times and the cost, all right? Now, make sure you follow the format. So you are required to change those value in dollar, right? I'm going to do the first two, which is item two and three, and they're going to do the other, all right? I'm going to show you, okay? 
highlights just like this to highlight make sure you click on the number and drag it down then go on the top middle top bar see here next to the number there's a diagonal arrow click on it so you're going to change to currency see click on currency the third list all right you're going to enter okay hit in okay now this should be in a currency all right should, okay all right now you see change to a dollar sign now we have dollar format okay in dollar in the currency form now I'm going to show you how you compute that required that you use a Excel format to compute. So, in the first one, which is already given, the so way you compute is inter equal, then click on the number of times purchase each month, which is a B13, click on B13, then multiply, which is multiplication hit shift and number eight so that you can have this uh, multiplication symbol then click on cost per purchase which is c13 then hit enter on the keyboard all right you do the same enter equal click on p14 times click on c14 then hit enter on the keyboard all right you do the same the next one equal click on one all right it is the same way or short there's another way once you do the first formula you may hold the right lower corner this is that when change to a cross just drag it hold and drag the corner so it's gonna have an auto fill all right that's another way all right keep doing the rest i already pumped it for each all right so i have to change this format into a currency you can also go here in the top toolbar However, I choose to use uh, the previous format. Currency and the previous tool. All right. So the dollar sign and the numbers are next to each other, very close. All right, keep doing the same. Click on currency. all right now you are already uh we already done the formatting parts make sure there's also two decimal places all right on both sides now we need to calculate the subtotal for each category all right so to find the total we're going to add up those total cost so enter equal Enter the addition function, which is the sum, SUM. Then some functions are going to pop up. Click on it. Double click. Then highlight this category, the total cost category. Then hit enter. Can I do the same? All right, equal. Sum, SU, type it. Double click on the sum function. Highlight this value, hit enter. All right, the same procedure. 
click on 200 click and drag it down this one here you don't need to calculate just click hit enter equal and then click on 100 so that can copy it here we need to add up okay sum double click then highlight those all right now we have the subtotal for each category one thing i would like to explain is that make sure you reach the requirement here all those requirement the total items all those total items should be total 10 items and each category should be filled at least one item and each category should have at least i mean to the maximum five category each should have maximum of five, five category and also make sure at least three items are greater than one here i have items greater than one and the number of times purchase each month so it should be at least more than greater than one okay so don't make don't enter only uh one for number of times purchase each month make sure you have at least two three and four under a column b okay all right make sure you read the instruction so uh you're gonna get full point all right yeah make sure you read this instruction all right so once you done that we're going to transfer those value on the right side which means each subtotal is going to be entered on the right side on this table here so housing and utility is here yes yeah, housing and utility all right so hit equal then we're going to copy the subtotal right click on subtotal value then hit enter from the uh, keyboard the same way for food entertainment enter equal then click on the subtotal which is $830 and hit enter all right next click on the standard 50 and uh, hit equal saving and charities equal click on and next is saving we already enter equal all right click on 100 So the last one is miscellaneous or equal click on the subtotal of miscellaneous all right now all the subtotal has been entered on the right side under the budget summary and analysis table now you're gonna click on g21 here equal so that you can add up all the subtotal which is our budget total okay gonna use some function then highlight all the subtotals and hit enter all right all right now we're gonna enter the percentage of each uh, categories all right the first category which is housing and utility this percentage is gonna be calculated hit enter click in the subtotal and enter a division and click on the page total all right all right so maybe we don't need to do uh, each calculation so we're gonna lock the budget total this one so see here watch out here on this formula i'm gonna enter the dollar sign i mean here over here you can do that between G and 21 
all right so that way 